Ciao a tutti! Have you ever noticed uh, when uh, swimming on a sandy bottom with your mask and tuba that uh, the sandy bottom is not even but it's constellated by small waves on the sand? Those are called ripple marks. Let's have a look at them and then I explain you how they form. <laughs> How do these ripple marks form? It's actually rather simple. Waves coming onto the shore start to interact with the sea bottom at a certain depth. And this depth is equal to half of the wavelength. When waves start to interact with the sea bottom, what happens is that they start moving sediments around. And when they move sediments around, they organize sediments in these forms that are called ripple marks. Now, these ripple marks are rather small because it's summer, we are in the Mediterranean Sea, there were not too, too many waves this summer to justify the formation of, of bigger ripple marks. But sometimes, uh, in winter, also in this area, they can be wide as much as a half a meter or up to one meter. And by wide, I mean the distance between the different crests. So, ripple marks basically tell us what has been happening with the swells in the certain area. The very funny thing is that sometimes we can find ripple marks in rocks that are old hundreds of thousands of years. And this is how we know that those rocks were formed in a coastal environment. A very cool one that I had the opportunity to study some time ago was a formation in Bermuda that was formed when sea level were much higher than today in the last interglacial. If you want to know more about this period, let me know, because there's a lot to say about it. Okay, I hope this uh, short video was again informative. If you liked it, follow me on social media, leave a like, leave a comment, ask me questions about it. I'm ready to answer them and see you until next time. Ciao a tutti!